Hummus is a traditional Lebanese dish, and if you add a few little extra zing zings here and there, you can make it quite Caribbean in taste and flavor. So for that, you need to use a blender. The next thing we need are some chickpeas, and I'm gonna use tin chickpeas. Again, you can use dry chickpeas that you soaked and cooked. And then, some really nice olive oil. I'd say about half a cup of olive oil there. To that, you're gonna add a chili pepper. Here's our little zing, right? Some garlic. And then, a bit of tahini sauce. Tahini is made in the Lebanon and it is crushed sesame seeds. It's very potent, very strong. You only need a little bit of it. So I'm literally gonna put in about two or three teaspoons. And then, of course, let's get a bit of salt, just a quite a generous pinch. We're gonna cover up our blender and over we go. Let's fit this on properly in case we have a minor catastrophe. Let's blend up hummus. Just quite gently blend it away. Open it up. Take a look at how it's going. I think I actually need to add a bit more olive oil, so I'll just get that now. It's really just a matter of taste and seeing how it goes. You want it to be a creamy, moist texture. You don't want it to be dry. It needs to be able to dip with your lovely crackers. Right, I'm gonna just check that one last time. I think I need a bit more olive oil. We love the olive oil. Just make sure it's nice and liquidy. And all the other flavors in there will counter the taste of the olive oil, so don't think it's going to overwhelm things. Back on there. And I think that's just about ready. It's a nice consistency. It's still a bit chunky, but quite smooth at the same time. I like it chunky and smooth as well. 